sneaky, sneaky calm to us. They were not getting the numbers that they wanted to for the launch of Lost in Tour. They were not getting the, the hype up. They were not getting the amount of people downloading and actively playing the game. So what do they do? They do a crossover event. I mean, it's sneaky, but it's also very smart at the same time. It's one of the smarter things that, they, uh, that they've that they been doing. Um, they do this crossover event, Summoner's War Sky Arena, Lost in Tour, a crossover event. They lose no money by doing this. This is a pure gain for them. Uh, you get all these goodies. It sounds like it's sponsored, and there's a lot of people that have been doing sponsored Lost in Tour stuff. This is not sponsored. I'm going to just say whatever I want to say. I'm going to poo-poo on Lost in Tour, but I'm also going to download Lost in Tour and now play through a couple, uh, a little bit of PvP. I mean, we did download and play PvP in the beta, so it's not like we haven't uh, touched Lost in Tour at all. But I don't plan on playing it long term. I just plan on doing a couple rank ups for some goodies on the beginners grind series because we are very low on crystals for beginners grind and we could use some extra scrolls and stuff like that. So basically all this is is you download Lost in Tour. Again, this is not sponsored. This is not sponsored. I don't really want to continue playing Lost in Tour. I'm just saying that this is just talking about the uh, the event, right? You download, you play Lost Centuria, you get to a certain point. Uh, well, actually, it's, it's all based on the rank that you achieve, right? So probably these are not going to be easy to obtain for, like, the, the 10 Mystical Scrolls here, the 5 Mystical Scrolls here. I don't actually know. Like, this may be somewhat easy to obtain, considering it's, like, everyone's... Uh, it's day one at the time that I'm recording this, so it may not be that hard. But at least we'll see how far we can get, and at the very least we'll get these 300 crystals, because right now we are, like, at only 300 crystals on this account at all. So all of this stuff is just extra bonuses. I'm not going to do this on every account that I have. I'll just do this for the beginner's grind to get some extra goodies for the beginner's grind to help uh, boost a little progress, right? So you basically just go through, you lost, uh, play, download, play Lost Centuria, get to a certain point, and... Uh, give them your nickname, give them your player ID so they know what data to take this from, and then uh, you verify, and then you get all the goodies for however far you've reached in Arena. So here's another thing, and I'm going to just totally out of left field. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else is thinking this too. But what is to stop people from, and I don't know if there's even a market for this, but this is how my brain works. What's to stop people that like actually like Lost Centuria from creating a new account Getting all the way up to, uh, what is it, Silver 1, I believe? Getting all the way up to Silver 1, and then putting their account ID up for sale for, like, 10 bucks or something. Or, like, I mean, how much could you really even get for this? This is, see, this is just, like, this is just, I'm not saying, like, selling in-game stuff. I'm just saying, like, their account, like, selling their account to be able to be linked for, like, all these Summoner's War goodies. Like, that's the least uh scammy way of actually buying in-game loot <laughs> i feel but see i feel like i can't even say that because now i'm going to get attacked because people are going to be like oh bagel saying cheat i'm not i'm not saying cheat it's totally different from game from all buying crystals and stuff like that it's totally different from like hacking and things uh this is just like buying and like this is basically you buying someone else farming lost centuria for you is basically what it is so, I don't know. Maybe it's moral. Maybe it's not moral. There's probably just some giant gray area. But I'm curious if this is actually a way that, like, people that are, you know, low on their... What, how, what, what do you even call it? Like, down on their luck and uh, looking for work and stuff like that to make, like, a quick buck by getting to Silver 1 and then selling their ID to people for... Uh, in-game goodies i don't know listen i don't know it's probably wrong you should probably not do it whatever we're gonna do some beginner's grind stuff we are actually done <laughs> now that i get fifteen thousand dislikes on the video it's just things that you know i i'm a very business minded uh person so like i think about things like that i'm like what's to stop people from doing this is not necessarily against terms of service like is it it's not it's not against terms of service to actually do that but anyway, uh, the beginner's grind. How have we been doing on here? We made some six stars. We should probably six star that third into Gamdu. I don't think we have uh, stuff for him just yet. We made some. Oh, we're ready for another monster. Uh, we're uh, another six star as well. But the big thing that we've done is over the past couple days is we did that. We did that. Uh, we are finished with the homunculus. He's not skilled up, but we are at least finished with actually doing. All of this, uh, all the, all the farming for, yeah, this is the one I'm going to use. This way we can do really, really nice in TOA. We'll actually take him for a test drive. 
I should skill note first. Oh, we got an achievement here. Oh, well, we don't... If you collect this, this goes to your inbox, and then it'll, it has a timer. So it's best to just not collect that until you want a free reset on the homunculus. So just FYI. Oh, and we do one of those, too. And then we do... Oh, we gotta do the battle training. This is actually another great way to get just free resources, just free crystals, free uh, mana, free everything. So we'll do that. We're gonna... <laughs> I guess we'll play through Lost and Dura half on this video, and we'll also uh, do some... Let's let's skill this guy up though. Let's see if we have. Dev no, we don't have devil bonds. Okay, we don't have devil bonds. Let's put the devil bonds that we do have into the homunculus. How is he ruined? He is ruined on despair focus. We should uh, upgrade him too. He's doing damage through his dots though. So let's uh, do some devil bonds into him. We should. What we shouldn't be doing though is what we're doing is we are. Uh, putting devil mons into one thing and then switching it up and then putting devil mons into another thing. We should fully finish devil monning something first before uh, before we move on to the next one. So we really should, we really should be doing that. Really, really, really. Uh, Ice Mist, we do want the cool time turn minus one. We do also want the icy magic bullet chain. All three of these, well, just a harmful effect rate in the cool time turn also here. And then the harmful effect rate here. Okay, so we have... Uh, oh my god, I have to sneeze. We have nine more skill that we need on this. I'm still- I have a bandage on my face. I have a, a cast on my nose, so sneezing would be the absolute worst thing that I could do right now. Uh, let's go download Lost Centuria. Jesus Christ. I can't even believe that I just said that. Let's go download Lost Centuria, because we do have, um, like a Devilmon and extra crystals and stuff like that. But we're gonna do- we're gonna download Lost Centuria, and we're gonna do TOA hard in the meantime while we're- while we're- Oh, we didn't even do TOA normal. Ooh, we'll do TOA on this account in the meantime, but yeah, we actually got a chance to finish the homunculus already. It's been roughly hundred and not even 120 days, so under four months into it. That doesn't sound that great now that I think about it. It's like, you could definitely do the homunculus faster than that. Anyway, let's go do Lost Centura stuff. Let's play around with Lost Centura. <laughs> God help me. Uh, and then we'll do uh, TOA in the, uh, on this count on the side. I know you can't see my face right now, but I promise you that I am in, 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 in so much pain. Not, not because of this, the surgery, just because of playing Summoner's War Lost in Tour. <laughs> I, not, not Lost in Tour itself, just playing another Comp to Us game. That's why. That's, that's the pain. It's the pain of, of, of feeling that I'm playing another Comp to Us game. Let's see how fast we can uh, blast through this and get to... Uh, some decent level. I know we're supposed to- This is- uh, By the way, if you don't know uh, anything about Summoner's War Lost Centuria, the entire game is just wait for your opponent to do something, and then counter. That's it. You're just basically ca Now I'm just doing whatever nonsense. But, uh, basically all you do is wait for them to do some- play some kind of card, and then you counter. The winner is the one that counters more. It kind of gets depressing after a while. I mean, th th uh, there are some things about this that I that I don't mind, that I actually think are cool, like the graphics that I like. Um, the fact that you don't have to farm like crazy, I like. But I, it's a another comp to us game, which is a no for me, right? Because I'm not, I'm not going to deal with them again. Aside from getting the free goodies for today, I'm not going to deal with them again. Um, and then the fact that it's just like, it kind of takes the fun out of things, where it's like, you basically just wait for someone to do something, and you rain on their parade. You, like, stomp on their face when they're trying to, like, uh... When they're trying... Yeah, let's, uh, let's continue. You stomp on their face when they're trying to play cards. It's like, oh, did you want to play this fun card? No. Countered. Screw you. You don't get to play that. I'm gonna snipe it as soon as you, uh, as soon as you do it. Anyway, uh, we've seen this, uh, this intro before, so we can just skip to something else. I feel like my feelings with Calm to Us aside, like, just trying to judge this game as its own game without Calm to Us, I feel like it should be more fun than it actually is. Like, it's not terrible. It just, it feels like it should be more fun. I think it's just the counter mechanics. It's just, like, Every time you try to do something, you get countered. So you just have to wait until someone else tries to do something. This way you can stop them from doing anything fun. It's basically just stop each other from doing fun things. The game. That's the whole, <laughs> that's the whole game. Let's do some, uh, let's do some ten pulls or whatever. Because we have, a. Uh... Actually, yeah, let's do, you know what, let's do, uh, three of these. And then we'll do, like, a couple summons, whatever, for doesn't even matter. Also, these things... Am I supposed to just click on them, or what? Hey, it's an Inferno. 
Like, the art style here is pretty cool. I'll give them credit. The art style... I, I actually... I'm one of the people that likes the art style. I think it's very much different from... What? Why are you showing me again? <laughs> Why are you showing me the same thing again? Um, I like the art style here. I know not everyone likes it. It's definitely not Summoner's War style, but I also, you know, I also appreciate this art style. It's done well. It's kind of like a Disney Summoner's War. I mentioned that in the first impressions video, though. Wait, is this a legend? This is something good, isn't it? Ah, uh, it's just a Saria. You know what? He follows me in every single game. Every oh, oblivion to everything. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I did I I didn't get him in the beta, so let's do a 10x summon. Let's see what we get from here. Oh, we got another legend. Cool. What do we have here? This is I don't care. She defense breaks and stuff. Let's see what we get from ten of those. So this is just uh, whatever we get. I'm just hoping for dupes. I don't want new stuff. I just want enough dupes of the things that are currently in the deck. This way we can make the the stuff in the deck as strong as possible. I'm gonna take Royd out of the deck though. I don't like Royd. Konamiya. Konamiya looks cool in here. Second Awakening Konamiya soon. Maybe not soon. At some point, Finn I've been using. Finn does damage. I've been trying to use a lot of damage dealing units. Just to make the matches go. But Chloe. Make the matches go by fast. Weakness. <laughs> What do we get here? Something new? Something new. Vertiheal. I don't know how I knew that was Vertiheal. I just figured, I'm like, that's got to be Vertiheal. That's got to be Vertiheal. Another Tessarion. Let's see what we get. Camila. Okay. I mean, at least this part is fun, getting to see the little animations. So, yep. And then we don't have any more. What are you doing? Are you broken? Spend some money. We're we're right into it, guys. We're right into it. We're right into the spend some money. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we get from these challenges. We don't need to see the whole thing. Yeah. Spend some money ASAP. I'm gonna switch around the deck. We're gonna stick some different stuff in there. We're gonna continue. This whole thing is just such an unpleasant experience. <laughs> I feel like I'm just wait. Like all I'm doing is waiting to move. By the way, Tessarin is so. so Stupidly OP. Sometimes I don't always wait for them to counter, by the way. Now I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till they do something. Then I'm going to do Thrain. Thrain is also stupidly OP. We're going to do this. We're going to counter. Also, you know what? I think my units are in the wrong spot. We're, we easily win. We're just out overpowering them, right? That's all. That's, that's all that's happening right now. We're just overpowering them. And then we'll do, oh, let's do uh, one of these, yeah. Nothing too exciting going on. We just have higher stats. May as well just do it now. They already gave up. Oh, they didn't give up. They're actually still trying to counter. Okay. Another one we have way higher. Well, we, yeah, we, we do have decently higher stats on a lot of these things. Uh, higher, higher level cards than they do. So this is going to be another one that's just super... I don't even know why we're showing Lost and Tour content in the first place. Wait for them to do this, and then we'll do a counter. And then we'll do... Uh, Oblivion. So will be. We'll wait for something else, them to do something else. And we will do a Thrain right there. He's going to do some AoE crowd control. And then we're just going to go right away, and we're going to do... So they know that I'm waiting to counter them, so now we're going to... Oh, you know what? We would have been better off doing something else instead of that one, but that's fine. Now let's wait for them to do this, and then we'll do, uh... I don't know exactly what counter is what, by the way. I'm just throwing random things out there. This one's nice. I like this card. Let's do this. Let's do one of these. Will that kill him or no? No, it doesn't kill him. We'll just wait to do Thrain again. After they do something, we'll counter them. Oh, we'll th counter their counter. We'll doomsday their doomsday. That should kill Thrain if it hits Thrain. Never mind. We'll do that. Although that's Elmit uh, disadvantage, but yeah, there we go. Just wait to counter their uh, counter their attacks. That's the whole game, and and hope to get net fives. If we win this one, we will wind up at. 
Bronze 3, which I think is going to be fine for us. I cannot just sit here and play this game all night. I'm not going to sit here and play this game all night. Hopefully, oh, he's a Korean. We're going to lose this one. All right. Uh, you know what? It could be a it could be a tight match. Let's see. Let's see. But I think if we win this one, we will wind up at uh, bronze three. Oh, we don't even have what's his face to begin with. We don't even have Tessarion. I'd like Tessarion to start. This we actually got lucky. I shouldn't have clicked that so fast. All right. So we got a Tessarion there. We're gonna second Tessarion. Let's do this, and we'll do that. We don't we don't get the counter, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, then we'll do one of these real fast after that, because he's not expecting me to do... Oh, never mind. He is expecting me to do it so fast. I thought maybe he wasn't expecting me to go for another card so fast. All right, let's do this. And we didn't get it. Let's wait for him to do something else. And then we'll counter it by doing a Camila. And we're going to lose our Thrain, though, which sucks. Sucks a lot. Let's do this. Let's do the dots. Let's wait. Hopefully we can get to Sarion out. I love to Sarion. No, we're just going to lose. We're just going to lose. He's not going to be able to kill that, but... Does that kill a few? He kills a few things with that. Okay. And we'll do one of these. And we'll do one of these. Get this done as soon as possible. Get this one out as soon as possible, too. I think we still lose this one, though. We'll do this. And then I think we could... Oh, nice! Nice, nice. We did get it. Not that I'm doing super efficient gameplay, but... Uh, yeah. There we go. Finally, we are at Bronze 3. This way I don't have to play this game anymore. Because Bronze 3 is where we get the crystals, I believe. So now we can just go sync our username and whatever. I'm not going to keep playing this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to keep playing this game. It's all just counter the game. It's all just like wait for the opponent to do something and then counter it. And then wait for them to do something, and then counter it. And then wait for them to do something again, and then counter it. So, we don't need to keep playing this. I'm gonna... Hey! Fi oh, finally we get a Thrain skill up. I would have loved that before. I would have loved that before. Anyway, I'm sure if we just click on our name right here on the top left-hand corner, it will take us to the information that we need to put in our uh, ID and everything. Because we're gonna need our player name and our ID. Here's the thing I want to mention. At first, I thought that if you click on the top left-hand corner, uh, it goes to your profile. It says uh, your name right now is Booty Scooter. <laughs> Lulz. Uh, and then it gives you another weird word. That is not your player ID. The, where you get your actual player ID, because you do need both your nickname, Booty Scooter, whatever, uh, and then your player ID, you go to Settings, and it's actually in Settings, not in your player profile on the top left. So I just want to make note of that so you guys know. Now we're back here in Summoner's War Sky Arena. We're on the Beginner's Grind account. Uh, we put in our Lost Centuria nickname, and then we put in the other ID that we got from the right, top right-hand corner settings uh, location, and we're going to click on this. Now we see nothing, not Bagel Face, not uh, anything else. And then it shows all these things that you have to <laughs> agree to legally. And then we see account has been uh, account has been verified. We can collect this uh, legendary scroll over here, and then we'll put this back on there because I don't know if we should be showing the the account ID for that account. So all we really get from a couple hours of grinding, <laughs> a couple hours of grinding, all we really get is one legendary scroll, three mystical scrolls, two hundred energy, three hundred crystals. We could keep going for all the rest of these, but that's gonna be like all like overnight and everything like that. I just wanted those those crystals really. So uh yep, that's what we get. So let's pop some I guess we'll pop some summons. I kind of feel like a waste of time. I'm just gonna delete Lost Centuria after this. I don't plan on I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I mean, it, it'll... Okay, I shouldn't say that. It'll have, like, a small player base, but it's not going to see any major success. I mean, m maybe I'm wrong. That's just my feelings. I don't I don't feel like it's going to have a major success because it is... The Summoner's War players wanted a chibi-style 
Pokemon collector game. They did not want esports like this. If they wanted esports like that, they would have played like Clash Royale or, or many other games that are already like Lost Centuria. So it's basically taking the Summoner's War characters, removing half of the reason we like the Summoner's War characters, and then putting it into a game that's like Clash Royale but not as good. Or like other games like in that genre, the card-based uh card-based battler games that are just is not as not as long running, not as fleshed out. Like if you really like that gameplay style, you probably play Clash Royale. And, you know, if you're playing uh, Summoner's War Sky Arena, half the reason you're playing is probably because you like the chibi art style and monster collection. So I really, there's just so many indications that I don't think that it was, will succeed uh, to the way that Com to Us feels that it will. I've also been paying attention to, like there was on Twitch, um, there was 66,000. Can I actually bring that up? Let's take a look. Let's take a look at some of these screenshots that I have for you guys. Yeah, so there was... No, that's not the first one. This is the first one. This was Twitch here that a 66,000 viewers. Wow, 1.6k followers is actually really bad because Sky Arena has 800,000 followers on Twitch. The Summer's War Sky Arena. Just following the game in general, right? Uh, 66k viewers. However, most of the viewers were actually all of these that were just big, uh, big YouTubers, big Twitch streamers that were sponsored to play the game. Look at it, sponsored, sponsored, sponsors. There was a lot of sponsors uh, to play the game. That was the invitational thing before the game was actually officially released, right? So then we see, uh, this was right after that. Um, there was, of course, no one playing. No channels currently live because the game wasn't out yet. There was only available for at first when, you know, that, that tournament was happening like a couple days ago, right? So they did get some new followers, uh, but there's no viewers because, of course, no one was playing. Then, today, uh, went back and, and checked it out again. Now the game is officially released. It is at 3.3k followers for the game overall. 5.9k viewers. However, the big, their 5,000 of that was actually uh, sponsored as well. So people being, uh, large streamers being played to, uh, paid to actually play the game. Uh, and then this is the uh, the official Reddit. There's a couple different Reddits for it, but this is, I think, the official one, and it's not not a whole lot of people <laughs> paying attention to uh, to that. Of course, it's going to grow. I'm not saying it's not going to grow, but it did not have the launch that they expected, that they hoped for. I think that Comptuous does not know why people play Summoner's War, and I think that's been the situation for quite a while. I'm just ripping on them, aren't I? I think that there's nice things about Summoners War uh, Lost Centuria. I think the art style is cool. I think, you know, there's there's some cool redeeming, uh, like, special attacks and things like that and different mechanics. But a lot of it has also been done. And a lot of it is also, like, it's for a different crowd than the Summoners War Sky Arena crowd. And they don't know that. And they don't know why people started to play Summoners War Sky Arena in the first place. And if they, f if they just listened and figured that out... Oh my god, we should just summon. We should just summon. I'm just saying, if they listened and figured that out, they would have more success because they would know where to focus their efforts instead of focusing their efforts on things that they're gonna, you know, things that may fail again. So, just, uh, just my two cents. Let's summon everything, whatever. Lightning immediately. Hey, there we go. This could be a Melia skill. Well, we should probably save one of her. We should save one of everything. So, probably won't be a Melia skill unless we have another one already. But I'm not saying I hate everything about uh, Lost Centuria. I just, I know it's not going to have the success that uh, that come to us once. It's a very frustrating game to actually play. Visually, I like it. Visually, I think it looks very nice. It looks very pretty. Um, and I like how they tune some of the characters' skills and special attacks and stuff like that. But uh, I'm not going to continue playing it. I just wanted to play it for those extra resources for this. And I think a lot of people kind of feel the same way. They're playing it for extra resources for this. Can we get a Thrain? I mean, we got a Thrain in that one. Can we get a Thrain in this one? No Lightning, no Thrain. There we go. Legendary Scroll. Was this all in vain? Do we get the Thrain or is it all in vain? Lols. We don't need anything special. So let's see if we get something good from these. I think we'll, we'll take a Galleon. We don't have any Galleons on here. So Galleon would be cool. If we get Galleon. Or no. Nothing at all come to us like, nope, we don't like how you say poo-poo about uh, Lost Centuria. So we're not going to give you anything. That's fine. These things happen. 
We actually don't need we we don't need anything. We just need to keep grinding. That's really the that's that's the issue. We just need to keep grinding. Is this enough or do we need more? Maybe we need more space. I don't know. We'll put those in there. We'll work on uh work on some arena off not not arena offenses. We have arena offense. We already got to see one on here. Work on some Guild Wars offenses. Nothing. Can we get one more? We get one more. We got basically we kind of got nothing for all of our. Uh, I mean we got we got crystals. We got some crystals for all of our work in uh, playing Lost Centuria. Lols. I do want to get these silver monsters though. I was hoping for some more. I was hoping for some. Oh my goodness! I was hoping for some more. Uh, just that last little bit of scam stones, but whatever. Anyway, let's make a six star. We'll call it a day. Hoping for a little bit more excitement. I really well, I was really hoping for a little bit more excitement for the day. We should have just played around with the new high elementals. Whatever. <laughs> we just we should have just played around with that. All right. What do we have to uh, potentially six star? We have this guy. We have this guy, but that's not fin he's not finished yet. We have... I think we'll do Shimite. Should we do Shimite or should we do Poseidon? Uh, Poseidon's got some stuff. I think we'll do Shimite. We could use a Shimite for arena offense and stuff. All right, guys. Uh, anyway, we also should do... Here's the thing. We also should do... Oh, man. There's so much other stuff to do. Let's do Poseidon. Let's do Poseidon. Let's do Poseidon. I'm a terrible person, I know. Let's do Poseidon. Terrible person. Shimite will get six-starred. Don't worry. Don't worry. It will happen. But now we have a lovely Poseidon, so we can go and build some more six-stars and whatever. And I really shouldn't be collecting all of this stuff, because now we have to go finish TOA. And, oh, we did, we did get the LD from TOA, too, didn't we? Oh, well. Kind of a lackluster... I really thought it was going to be so much more exciting. I was like, we're going to get all these goodies from the thing. Like, we didn't get very many goodies at all um but i'm not going to sit here and play lost and tour for eight hours so anyway that's it for this one next video we're just going to play around with some high elementals all right that's what we're going to do anyway that's it for this one i'll see you as always in the next one